When people learned that I'm going to meet with Jesse Ankamp, aka The Karate Nerd, most of you asked us to spar. I was very happy to hear Jesse agreeing to do this, but we decided to make it more interesting. We decided to do a real Aikido versus Karate sparring. Interested to know what it is? Stay tuned for this martial arts journey. What's up, karate? Oh, sure. hey, it's your video, right? Yeah, okay, oh, my bad, my bad. Okay, okay go okay. ahead, go ahead. Let's rewind that a little bit. It all started when Jesse invited me to teach a functional Aikido session at his yearly Karate Nerd experience. The seminar happens in a different country each year. This time, it was happening in Poland at a Japanese-themed village where Jesse and I met. Since many of you asked us to spar, I decided to do something special. I offered Jesse to do an Aikido versus Karate sparring, where I would be allowed to use only Aikido techniques that I've recently started to make functional during my BJJ training. Since most Aikido schools barely rely on striking, I've decided to use no strikes at all. Meanwhile, Jesse would be allowed to use his karate in any way he wishes. So, it's really good to be here with you. What do you think is gonna happen? Anything can happen. You could throw me on my ass or I could <laughs> kick your ass. I, I as well, like, I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, but there's the potential. So let's see. Round one, fight! To my surprise, I was owning the sparring. All of the Aikido techniques I've been trying to make functional work. Or at least it would have worked if this was an Aikido video. The reality was somewhat different. I kept trying to close the distance and to get into a clinch, where functional Aikido, in my experience, works best at. But every time I tried it, Jesse masterfully moved out of my range. Meanwhile, he was chipping me away with punches and various kicks. I did my best to block his attacks and to time an opportunity. Unfortunately, I didn't succeed even once. So, what did you notice? Distancing is really important. You want to be able to grab me, you need to get close, and that's a struggle. I was even aiming for like going to you know, catch you. Yeah, yeah. You go into a clinch area. Yeah. But you're so good at keeping the distance. Like as soon as I come here and I try to go yeah. for the clinch, you're like, yeah. you're already away. Now I'm thinking about the Aikido versus MA first video. I was trying to catch the arms, but at that time I was still panicky. Yeah. I was uh, trying to keep away and I couldn't do it. But at that moment I thought it's because I can't receive a punch, that's why I can't do it. But here I can receive the punch, but still, it's like it's just not yeah, there. Yeah, notice, well, you're not afraid of punches. So notice that you get very comfortable here. But then in order to grab me, you need to extend your arms. You can't have both. I'm also thinking, this is a mistake I keep doing. I try to do Aikido on a BJJ black belt, and now you're like high level karate black belt. I'm almost kind of setting myself up for for failure, because you're very good at keeping distance. The person who cons controls the distance controls the fight. The first thing you learn in karate is distance management. Right. One of the things people say is, like, Aikido is great against untrained people, which, you know, it's a long debate if, if it is or not. But there, there's overcommitment. Yeah. They're stepping in. People yeah. tend to grapple, like, yeah. in, like in a street fight. So that's maybe more favorable. You're really good at keeping distance, using kicks, using strikes. And as soon as I go and try to grab, you're like, Phew. Yeah. You're back out of it right away, so it's like I choose the worst opponents to try to apply it, you know. <laughs> but that's still good. That's a good experience. That's a good realization. I then considered that if we would have limited space, it would potentially change the dynamics of the sparring. Unfortunately, we didn't have any soft walls to work with. Instead, we placed some focus mitts to mark our limited area of sparring. Round two, fight. Despite of the smaller space, most of the sparring still looked the same. Eventually, I managed to get into a clinch. We ended up grappling and no Aikido came up. I managed to sweep Jesse at the end, but that was something I learned in BJJ and not Aikido. Obviously, expectations were not like reality. <laughs> <laughs> they were somewhat different. There was a bit of a difference. I think, yeah, what occurred to me is there is that common line in Aikido that it's not designed for cage. Sure, like for fighting. But neither is karate. It's designed for just self-defense, which is different to cage fighting or, or even street fighting. So I heard that the founder yeah. of uh, Aikido, Mori Heu Eshiba, yeah. said that Aikido is 90% striking. What is your opinion on that? Well, I think it's, it's a great question and it's kind of a confusing area because a lot of Aikido schools barely strike at all. Yes. But that makes much more sense. Even like in a fighting mode, yeah. where we're striking each other, yeah. probably would be much easier to get into that mode where we're mm -hmm. fighting, fighting, and then I could yes. go for like something yes. unexpected. Or if it's an untrained fighter or like an unexpected fight, a strike to the head makes the person wobbly, he doesn't know what's happening. Yeah. And then I could go for a technique, for sure, I think. Yeah. But then without strikes, again, like most Aikido schools train, probably even more hardly possible. Any tips? I would yeah. stop Aikido. <laughs> I mean, That's I what I did. Say, That's what I did. I was going to say I would start karate, but <laughs> you could do basically any martial art that incorporates more of these things that Aikido lack. 
But then yeah. again, Aikido was probably not designed for this anyway. So True. of course, if you want to force a square peg in a round hole, you got to make some adjustments. All right, well, thank you so much for having yeah. me on. It was an thank honor you. and a thank pleasure. You. So the sparring is over and I am back in Warsaw. As I'm walking down these streets reflecting about my experience, I think Jesse described it best. It's like trying to squeeze in a square peg into a round hole. Still, I'm happy I've done it since I became even more aware of what's possible and what's not in functional martial arts. And as coach Kavanaugh puts it, you either win or you learn. If you're interested to see how I taught functional Aikido to karate practitioners, click on this video right here. If you want to see my full exchange and sparring with Jesse, click up here. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you to own your journey.